Hello everybody, welcome back to Catherine Sews. Right after I posted my last video, which was all about sewing the string bikini, I took apart the bikini back into two separate pieces to see if I could turn it into something that I would actually wear. And so I think I've got a really nice, pretty simple way to turn this into more like a tankini. So to give you some coverage in the front. What I have is one more piece of fabric and this is about 22 inches by 14 inches. And that's gonna be just enough to make a panel that goes around the front and I, I think it'll look pretty cute and I think it'll just make me a lot more comfortable wearing this at a beach. So if you haven't already seen that video, go back and watch this one. That'll give you all the techniques to make a regular string bikini. Then come back here in that video I show you at uh, I show you at some point like stop here if you're going to be adding the front panel and so at that point you'll jump back over to here and we'll add in that front panel okay good so what you need is already listed in that other video so the only extra thing you'll need is one more piece of fabric you'll get to the point of making the two sides of the top just like this and then just before you turn that casing on the bottom that's when you're gonna come right back to here oh and you know what you don't even have to serge the bottom edge of these either because we'll be serging that all together with the panel anyway. If you've already serged it like I have, no big problem. It'll be fine. Good. So let's jump right in. So here's my piece that's 14 by 22. And I'm just going to fold that in half. I'm going to even out the edges. This is going to be the bottom corner and I'm just going to curve that right off. Two and a half inches from the corner, I just curved that right off. And then while I still have it folded in half here, I'm just going to make a little snip at the center. And then when I was playing around with this fabric, I know I wanted to have about three inches extend beyond the where the front cup is going to be. So I'll put a notch and that's just a little snip through both layers. So that's actually ready to go. That'll be nice. So here are the cups from that original bikini. And what I'm going to do now is just run a gathering stitch along here. I don't need to go right toward the end. I'll go a thumb width from either end and just run my gathering stitch. I'm using a basting stitch that's about five millimeters long. And I'm just gonna start that thumb width in from the edge. And I'll just go to the left of this surging. Now, as I said, you, you really don't need this surged edge here because we're going to be surging it all again later with the panel. So if you don't already have your bottom edge surged, don't do it. And to about a thumb width from that edge. And always when you're going to be gathering, you, you don't want to cut your thread short. Keep your tails of thread long. Good. For a small thing like this, one row of gathering is enough. You don't need to do a double row. So the curved edge is the bottom edge. I'm looking for the top edge that has the notch in the center and the two notches on the sides. And I want to just gather this up. Oh, you can see my holes here from where I had originally sewn the casing. Luckily, these holes don't show on the outside, just on the lining. You have a choice here. You can have your the two cups just meet in the center, or if you want to be a little bit more modest, you can have them overlapping in the center. I'm going to overlap mine just a little bit. So this, there's my center notch, and I'll just put the folded edge just past that. Then I want this edge, the other other end of the cup to just come to that notch that's three inches from the end. Now you should do measurements on yourself. Um, you should decide how wide you want your panel to be, how much extra you want this back piece to come past the cup. This is just what I was playing around with that I think will work for me. So I just want to gather that cup up enough to fit neatly in that space. and then pin it in place. And anytime I'm gathering something, I use a lot of pins. If you follow my videos, you'll know that I don't pin a lot. I don't pin everything, but for gathering, you do wanna pin a lot because you want all of these gathers to be evenly distributed. 
So a lot of pins are necessary. And there's one. The other side, I'll just overlap in the same way so that little, um, the little hemmed edge is just gonna come past the center. And this end goes to the other notch. And then I'll just pull up the gathering thread just enough so that it fits in that space. Now I've switched back to a regular straight stitch uh, with the length of two and a half millimeters and I'm just going to be sewing these two together at the 15 line or 5 eighths line. Well, that's nice, that looks good. I can pull out these gathering stitches now. They've done their job, I can just pull those out. And then I'm gonna finish this edge. I'll be surging, but if you want, you can zigzag those edges. Either way is fine, you just wanna finish that edge nicely. Now, I'm trying not to cut off anything because this is going to be the casing. I don't want it to get too skinny to put a strap through. So I'm going to be folding this down to make a casing, but before I do that, I need, I need to finish this bottom edge. I think I will just go ahead and finish that edge with a little hem. So to hem the edge of the panel, you could run around it with a double needle. That would actually be beautiful. But what I think I'm gonna do is just even easier way with just single needle. And what I wanna do is run a gathering stitch just around the curve first sewing pretty close to the curved edge just to help fold in that hem a little bit. So I'm switching back to that basting stitch. I can stop there. No back tacks. This is just like the gathering stitch you did at the bottom of the two cups. So by running that gathering stitch around the curve, it just makes it so much easier to turn a small hem nicely on a curved edge. I just want to pull this thread enough to kind of like shrink in that edge. So I'm going to throw in a few pins here just around that curve because that's really the only tricky part here is hemming this curved edge. And the amount I'm turning up here is just about a quarter inch. I'm just going to be turning this edge once and on a woven fabric I would never do that. But on a knit, I don't really want to serge it. This panel will flap and you will see the inside. And I think the serging is just not necessary and won't look as pretty as if it's not there. See what I mean? Like this edge isn't going to show, which I'm glad of. But this one, I think not serging is appropriate here. So I am going to use a zigzag stitch instead. The zigzagging allows me to cover this raw edge. So that'll be perfect. I think that looks fine. And you see how that gathering stitch really helps on the curve here? Just make sure your curve looks good as you sew it down. And if it doesn't look good, don't sew it. Shift around the gathering if you need to. Trim your threads as you go. Okay, that looks good. I'm happy with that. So now making the casing and then we're almost done. For the casing, we're gonna be turning down pinky finger width or one and a half centimeters. 
and just with a straight stitch I'm going to be coming along close to that bottom edge of the serging not up on the fold but down here we want it wide enough to get a strap through there make sure your corners not sticking out and if you get stuck at the beginning just lift up give a little wiggle and off you go you might even have to do that twice so once I'm into the cup area, I want to be able to open that out. Like it would be easy to have like an extra fold in here. Make sure you've got it open right out, nice and flat, and then sew along your edge there. want to make sure my casing doesn't get to be too skinny okay fantastic so now the same string that I used on when it was a string bikini is going to go through that casing and it's going to be a tankini now And then the cups that we made in the last video go back in. Your strap can get a little knot at the end. And then you are done. I'll show you what this looks like on a dress form. Awesome, so that was nice and fast and pretty easy, right? And look at it. I think that really worked out nicely. And the tie comes all the way around to the back. The panel just comes like crosses over your side and you still have a nice bare back for tanning, but you're covered in the front. And I think that hangs really nice. I think the curved edge worked out nicely, didn't it? And I'm really happy with that. I would actually wear that. I hope that idea really helped you to be able to transform any bikini top into a tankini. So if you had fun with that, you know what you gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again next time here on Catherine Sews. You take care.